Hello everybody. So greetings from the Santa Fe Hotel um, in Disneyland Paris. So um, I finished doing the mindfulness advent calendar and I figured that I would continue doing some sort of video about mindfulness and, and little techniques that I've picked up. Um, so this is about having something to look forward to. Now, <clears throat> I've been through an awful lot, there's been a lot of family stuff that's gone on, um, health issues myself and, and other people, and work and all the usual stresses of daily life. And um, basically, I have been looking forward to coming to Disneyland Paris for New Year since May. And when I've had really dark moments, it's been the thing to, that I can hold on to and say, I'm going to Disney. I'm going to Disney and let me tell you, it more than sort of lives up to all the hype that you've ever, ever heard about it. It's amazing. Um, the, the staff are all incredible and I've met so many lovely people and lovely characters and, and all of that just in day to day goings on. Um, so, and having that to hold on to for, for six months is fantastic. Now, I'm not saying you need to book a trip to Disneyland Paris to look forward to, but the thing that I'm going to be doing when I get back is holding on to that, holding on to little things that I can look forward to. So, meeting a friend for a coffee, having a lovely hot long bath, those sorts of things. And then by doing that, I can hold on to that sort of lovely feeling of I'm looking forward to this yes okay things might be tough right now but just over this hill just over this little bit here I can see the good and I can see um, wonderful things and what have you and yes there might be times when that's not enough to pull you through it but it might be enough to start so hold on to it, hold on to things that you're going to look forward to and uh, also feel the little girl inside of me has loved this trip. Now, I am a big kid anyway and anyone that knows me, even a little bit, will tell you how much I love Disney. Um, now, I have physical problems, which is why I'm not on rides right now because I can barely walk. Um, but I've not let that beat me. Uh, I'm having a rest tonight. So tomorrow we can go to the New Year's Eve party <coughs> and uh, have fun and do all of that. So, um, but hold on to something to look forward to and just, just keep going. And every time you think, oh, this isn't so good or I'm struggling, just go, oh, I've got that one thing got that thing that I'm looking forward to I'm going to meet friends for dinner or I'm going to have a really nice meal or a long bath or read a good book light a candle listen to music it can be anything so try and do that and see what happens and I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the new year and throughout all of that but I will not see you now until the next decade I know that's only like 29 hours away or something ridiculous but even so have a wonderful new year whatever you decide to do and it's okay if you don't want to do anything and just want to go to bed that's what i usually do but not this year right see you all soon bye bye